Hey guys, it's Bobby, aka Paginator, and I was at Walmart today and found something that I couldn't not buy. So these are mini brands books, and they're supposedly tiny little versions of well-known books with real readable pages. So the picture example here is a Roald Dahl book, um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, there, and it says real readable pages. And uh, I thought, you know what, this looks like something fun and I haven't done like a mystery figure or anything like that kind of unboxing in a long time. So I think we're gonna go out to my desk and film this top down so you can see up close and personal what these books are and uh, let's see what ones we get. Okay, we have three of these. And from what I understand, there are multiple books in each one. But I guess the only way we can find out for sure is to dig right in. So uh, let's start with this one and see what we've got inside. That took way too long. <laughs> but we're ready to open up the first one and got several pouches. And this should tell us what books are available to get. Okay, so there is a, a Stranger Things book, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Dog Man, Dog Man, Two Wimpy Kid Books, um, Alice in Wonderland, Black Beauty, Christmas Carol, The Burn Book for Mean Girls, so that would be awesome, Clueless, uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, Library of Souls and Hollow City, those are both from Miss Peregrine's series, um, Babysitter's Club Little Sister, Babysitter's Club, Cat Kid, Howliday Inn, Bunny Cula, Some Colleen Hoover books. It starts with us and reminders of him. A Mad Libs book. Um, Roald Dahl, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, The BFG, Matilda, and the Twits. More Wimpy Kid books. Um, Suspic Suspicious Minds and Darkness on the Edge of Town, Stranger Things books. Um, three Goosebumps books. The Vampire Diaries, two books of those. And. These must be like the extra like things that aren't books. Looks like some bookmarks or book tabs. A magnifying glass, presumably that's to read the pages with. And this is maybe a bookshelf. So let's start with this thicker one. I'm, I'm guessing that's gonna be a bookshelf. Okay, and it has instructions on how to put it together. Okay, so this says you can collect more capsules to add more shelves, um, but here's how one looks. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, it's so tiny. Look, it's Goosebumps, Night of the Living Dummy. Let's see, oh my goodness. <laughs> So I don't know if I'm gonna turn these into like ornaments for my Christmas tree or what, but they're so cute. Okay, let's pop you into the shelf right now. Do we stand you up? I don't know. Oh, Babysitter's Club. I mean, seriously, these words are so, 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 so tiny. 
Where's the micro, the magnifying glass? I'm hoping that, that we're gonna have one in this packet. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so let's look at this. These two are paperback books, right? Our third book is hardback. And we have Cat Kid, Comic Club. This is by Dave Pilkey. No words or pictures inside the book except for like the title page, apparently. So maybe in the graphic novels they just do a couple of pages. Let's see if this works. It does make those words bigger. Let's try it on the tiny books. Yeah, I'm still not gonna be able to read that at all. Yeah, these definitely, like, I don't know what the deal is with the printing on them, but you can't read them even with a magnifying glass. So unless I have a much bigger magnifying glass, I, I doubt that I'm going to be able to see any actual words on here. But they're still cute, and they'll probably be um, ornaments. This is a little flag bookmark thing. The other thing I don't love is, like, how easily the spines are bent. I mean, that's just what it is. It's tiny bits of paper, but still not ideal. We'll go to the second capsule, and I just really want no duplicates, so we'll see if that comes true. Here's the bookshelf, so we'll set that to the side, and I'll deal with it later. This one feels like it's going to be a hardback. Oh, no, paperback, but it is a bit thicker. This is Vampire Diaries. Any chance that the magnifying glass works on this? I can kind of make out the word she. <laughs> Open. Oh, Matilda. I love Matilda. And the movie version is so cute too. And what's in this one? We have another red flag little bookmark, another uh, magnifying glass, and Diary of Wimpy Kid Roderick Rules. I think Long Haul is my favorite Wimpy Kid book. I think it's been my favorite Wimpy Kid book since it came out. I just love that one. But I have to tell you, number 19 that came out recently, Hot Mess, I absolutely adore it. I'm getting it for two kids that I know this Christmas. All right, we've got quite a good little book stack here. Let's see um, what comes in the third capsule. We could maybe fill up this, the bookshelf. So there's the other bookshelf piece. All right, not one that I particularly wanted, but at least it's not a duplicate. It is. It starts with us by Colleen Hoover, and I I don't know this book. I I don't know if it's the same characters as it ends with us or anything like that. But I I know I've heard pretty awful things about it ends with us from most of the people that I know personally that have read it. So I don't know. It might be fantastic. Let me know if you've read either of those books. Oh, we have the BFG. Very cute. And what's our last one going to be? Another Goosebumps book, The Haunted Mask. And the bookmark this time has a little map on it. All right, so there's a look at our full bookshelf. And that's going to be it for this video. I'll set up the other little bookshelfy parts and probably add it to my um, big bookshelf as some kind of display something at some point if I decide not to turn those into Christmas tree ornaments. So um, 
I hope you enjoyed this little video and we'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.